Welcome back everyone to another skill caps tier list, where this time we will be ranking every DPS in terms of support options. Patch 9.0.5 might be bringing some big changes to the meta, but if you're looking to re-roll or just want to play a spec that can support its team, this is the guide for you. Before we get into our list, we have to consider some criteria for how we made our rankings. That way, we can know exactly how to compare the support toolkit of different specs in the game. As a disclaimer, we are not including CC spells as a part of team support. Even though you can use CC to help support your teammates in surviving or scoring kills, we are mainly concerned with spells that directly interact with your team, like heals and friendly buffs. We will be making a separate video on control classes later, but for now, we are focusing primarily on defensive support for your team. With that in mind, the most obvious support option a spec can have is healing. This shouldn't come as a surprise, but we need to consider how much healing a spec can do and how easy it is to pull off in arena. Just because a class has off healing doesn't necessarily mean it has good support. Specs with strong instant cast heals will score high in this category. Next, we have to consider how the spec can reduce damage taken on their team. If the class has strong team defensive cooldowns, it will probably do well in this category. And aside from being able to reduce damage on their team, a good support class will also have options to counter crowd control control on their team. If a spec can break its partners out of CC or prevent CC from happening in the first place, then it will rank high here. Even though there aren't many classes that can do this, we should also give points to how well a spec can increase its team's damage or healing, because both of these things directly support your team defensively. Mobility is often overlooked as a support option but will be important in our rankings. Classes and specs that give their team increased mobility will score high here. In a metagame where melee and mages reign supreme, having additional team mobility is really strong in Shadow Lance Arena. Finally, we should consider what type of dispels a spec can bring. Some non-healer specs are capable of dispelling magic, which will be heavily weighted in our rankings. Even if a spec can't dispel magic, we should consider curse and disease dispels as they come into play when facing shaman and shadow priest teams. With that in mind, let's start off with the D tier. Coming in as the only class on the D tier is Rogue. Unfortunately, Rogues simply don't have many team support options outside of Smoke Bomb. Of course, if we were to consider crowd control, then yes, Rogues would be higher, but outside Outside of their control, they really don't have anything to support their team. With Smoke Bomb as the only damage mitigation they can add to their team, they really aren't a support class. On top of that, it is rare that Smoke Bomb is even used defensively, and if it is, then it usually means that something went drastically wrong in the arena. So with that in mind, Rogues unfortunately rank lowest on our support tier list. Starting off the C tier are Hunters. Although not traditionally thought of as a support class, they have a few options that are actually quite good in today's meta, the first of which is Roar of Sacrifice. With the crit modifier being increased this expansion, and with Fire Mages, Sub Rogues, and Elemental Shamans being popular in the meta, Roar of Sacrifice is a super strong support option for Hunters because it can counter cooldowns like Combustion and Shadow Dance. Alongside Ross, Hunters have Master's Call, which is quite useful for countering things like Root Beam from Balance Druids and Frost Nova and Ring of Frost from mages. Another support option, though mostly seen in 2v2, is Mending Bandage. This unique spell is the only team healing option hunters have. If we ever see assassination rogues rise in popularity again, this spell completely shuts down their damage. Next on the C tier are Windwalker Monks, which rank as the lowest hybrid DPS on our list. Monks do have some off-healing support, but it is hard-casted and relatively weak compared to other hybrids. One of their biggest support options is Tiger's Lust, which again can be used to counter Root Beam from Balanced Druids. Outside Outside of this, monks have a poison and disease dispel with detox, which is a relatively weak combination of dispels, but having a disease dispel is good against shadow priests for removing devouring plague. Rounding out the C tier are mages, who have a really unique and powerful support option for their team in the current meta. Although it doesn't come into play every game, mage food is actually incredibly strong for healers. Not only is it better than normal arena water, but it also returns HP. With mana being a huge issue for so many healers, we have to value this as a strong support option. On top of that, mages are one of the few classes in the game that can dispel curses, which has tremendously high value in the meta right now given the popularity of enhancement and elemental shamans. Finally, mages are one of the few classes with a team buff, offering arcane intellect to their teammates. This not only increases team throughput, but can also be utilized as dispel protection for other important buffs. The B tier includes two classes that are really overlooked in terms of their support options, but often have some of the best defensive utility for their team. First off are Death Knights. This class has one of the best team defensive cooldowns in the game with Anti-Magic Zone. Combined with the Dome of Ancient Shadow PvP talent, this ability plays a huge role against casters in Arena, specifically into Fire Mages for countering Combustion. On top of that, DK has both Delirium and Heartstop Aura, which don't really interact directly with their team, but instead act to indirectly mitigate damage 
damage by increasing enemy CDs. And as a bonus, although incredibly rare, DKs can even use Dark Simulacrum to steal important damage mitigation spells like Pain Suppression from their opponents, which is also worth mentioning as a support. Next on the B tier are Demon Hunters, who have a strong team defensive CD like Death Knights with Darkness. When combined with the cover of Darkness PvP talent, this is truly one of the strongest team defensive cooldowns in the game. On top of that, Demon Hunters are one of the few classes that can remove magic CC from their partners with reverse magic. This comes in handy against setup based comps like RMP and Jungle Cleave for being able to completely shut down a go and preserve their healer's trinket. Before we go into the high tiers on this list, if you are needing a resource to master your support on your class, look no further than skillcaps.com slash wow. There, you will find a massive library of resources that can help you at any skill level. Whether or not you are trying to pick up a new class and learn its rotation, or whether you are looking for advanced strategies used by the best players in the world, there are course guides available for you. Joining our website will give you access to the premium section of our Discord server, where you can directly interact with rank 1 and tournament players. Once again, check out skillcaps.com slash wow for the highest quality instructional content. Next we have A tier. These are the classes and specs that have some of the best support options in the game. And starting off this tier is Warlock. This class has some of the best support of any non-hybrid in the game. With Demonic Gateway, Warlocks add a ton of mobility for their team. On larger maps like Toviron and Grand, Gateway can play a huge role as an additional team defensive cooldown by opening up a way to completely avoid enemy damage. On top of that, Health Stones offer an additional team defensive CD for any Warlock team. Given the strength of Battlemaster Trinket and the power of cooldown rotation, it should come as no surprise that Health Stones are another important team defensive cooldown. Finally, against setup based comps, it is quite common for Warlock teams to play Imp due to the Singe magic ability. This spell allows Warlocks to instantly dispel their partners out of magic CC, adding to the well-rounded support toolkit of Warlocks. Finding themselves right above Warlocks are both Balance and Feral Druids, who offer similar but unique support for their team. Both Balance and Feral Druids offer off healing to their team. Feral has instant cast heals for Predator Swiftness, while Boomkin has super fast off healing with the Protector of the Grove PvP talent. On top of that, both of these specs offer Thorns, which can be used to indirectly mitigate damage from enemy melee. Finally, both specs offer Stampeding Roar as a mobility option for their team, along with the Curse and Poison Dispel, which has most of its value against shaman teams. The primary advantage Balanced Druid has over Feral is Innervate, which has tremendous value in games that will go to dampening. In a meta where healers struggle with mana, this is a super powerful tool. Now we are getting into the truly OP support specs in PvP, starting with the next A tier support on our list, Elemental Shaman. Shamans have two of the strongest team support options in the game with Grounding Totem and Tremor Totem. Grounding is incredibly disruptive and has massive potential for stopping damage, CC, and interrupts for their team. Tremor Totem isn't as dynamic but is still incredibly valuable, especially considering the popularity of warriors and priests on the ladder. On top of that, Elemental Shamans offer casted off healing for their team, and when combined with a Curse Dispel, they can easily fill the role of off healer for their team. Finally, Sky Fury Totem acts as an additional pseudo defensive cooldown for their team. Aside from increasing team damage, this totem also increases team healing, which is good for countering high burst damage. Rounding out this section is Shadow Priest, who is arguably the strongest support on the A tier and a possible contender for the S tier on this list. Shadow Priests offer an array of support options for their team, starting with Mass Dispel. This is a truly unique dispel option and can be used to break their party out of CC. This can potentially allow their healer to preserve their trinket, giving their team an additional defensive cooldown. And if MD wasn't enough as a defensive cooldown, Shadow Priests can choose Void Shift for an additional CD for their team. And if CC breaks weren't enough, Enough, Shadow Priests also offer really great off healing for their team, primarily with Power Word Shield and Vampiric Embrace, but also with Shadow Men, specifically with the Measured Contemplation Legendary. Finally, Shadow offers additional mobility for their team with Leap of Faith. Otherwise known as Life Grip, this spell can be used to quickly remove teammates from vulnerable positions. And just like Mages, Shadow Priests are one of the few classes in the game with a team buff. Power Word Fortitude not only acts as a team wide stamina increase, but can also act as the spell protection for other important buffs. Now it's time to move on to the best support specs in the game, starting with Red Paladin. By now, you should already know that Red Paladin healing is amazing. Word of Glory, combined with the healing hands talent, offers some of the best instant cast off healing in game. In addition, Red has multiple options for breaking their partners out of CC with Blessing of Sanctuary and Blessing of Protection, both of which can preserve PvP trinket from their healer. Against mage teams, Red Paladins can play with the Unbound Freedom PvP talent, which can give their partners additional uptime against teams with multiple 
snares and roots. And if that wasn't enough, paladins have a few aura options for their team, depending on what comp they're facing. Finally, having a poison and disease dispel also has high value, especially considering the popularity of shadow priests. Following Red Paladin are Warriors, which are the highest pure DPS class on this list. Some people mistakenly view Warrior as an aggressive all-in DPS class, but they are far from that. Warriors have multiple support options for their team, and none are more important than Intervene. This talent has so much flexibility. Not only can it be used to mitigate physical damage, but it can reduce damage overall with the Safeguard Conduit. On top of that, Intervene gains an additional interaction with the Overwatch PvP talent, allowing it to counter spells as well. When combined with the Misshape and Mirror legendary, warriors have some unique options for countering both damage and CC from enemy casters. Finally, War Banner and Rallying Cry offer warriors some truly unique team defensive options. War Banner is especially useful into setup based comps and can be used to preserve healer trinkets against comps like RMP. Finally, rounding out our list as arguably the best support in the game are Enhancement Shamans. We've already discussed the strength of Grounding and Tremor Totem for Elemental Shaman, and Enhancement Shaman has both. Their off-healing is also stronger than Elemental Shamans, with their heals being instant cast through Maelstrom Weapon procs. Just like Elemental Shamans, they also offer a Hex Dispel, which has high value into other Shaman teams and into Warlocks. And finally, they have multiple ways to increase their team's throughput, either with Wind Fury or Sky Fury Totem, or with Bloodlust and the Shaman PvP talent, which can be used on both DPS and healers depending on what the situation needs. And there you have it, those are the best support specs in the game. Once again, a good support class is able to directly help their team, either with obvious things like off-healing and throughput increases or with less obvious things like mobility assistance. Either way, there are multiple support options for you and the top support specs are really valuable in today's meta. If you found this video useful, give us some love with a like and comment which class you think offers the best support. If you want to stay on top of future uploads, make sure to subscribe and turn all notifications on. That way, you will never miss an upload.